Hello and welcome to Pocket Pulse GAD Expert Screencast for me, Teacher Marky. Today's lesson focuses on GAD science, specifically chemistry. This would be part for my discussion. And our topic for today is all about chemical formulas and equation. So at the end of the discussion, every one of you is, should be able to distinguish, write, and compare chemical formulas from chemical equation. Now, we start with chemical equations. So that would be putting chemical changes into words, or it could be through symbols. Now, a chemical equation is a symbolic representation of a chemical reaction. Now, for example, we have a burning of methane gas and oxygen. Instead of writing it that way, you can just make it specific and do it like the one that you have below, such as CH4, plus two molecules of O2 will give you carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. Now, we have a quick review of the elements symbols. So all elements are represented by a one or two letter symbol. For example, C is for carbon and E is for neon and O is for oxygen. The symbols are shown in the periodic table, such as the one that you have on your left. Now, a chemical formula shows the elements and numbers of atoms of each element in a molecule. For example, you have H2SO4. So, the number that is being preceded by the element here is 2. So, that means there are two hydrogen on the compound. Same is true with SO4. So, if there's no number in here, that means there are only one of it. So, there are only one sulfur. Same is true with oxygen. The number here is 4, so that means there are 4 oxygen atoms. So the total atoms within that chemical formula is 7. You just need to add 2 plus 1 plus 4. Now, that is the subscript. Now, coefficients is a formula may be given with a number. If there's no number, like what I've explained, then 1 is understood to be in front of the formula. This number is called coefficient or it could be a subscript. Now, the coefficient represents the number of molecules of that compound or atom needed in the reaction. For example, you have there 2H2SO4. So that means it has two molecules of sulfuric acid. So the number before the chemical formula or the coefficient before the chemical formula that identifies the number of molecules present in the chemical reaction. So if you have 2H2SO4, that means it, it is two molecules of sulfuric acid. So a coefficient is distrib distributed to all elements in the compound. For example, if you have 2H2, that would be for a total of four hydrogen atoms. If you say 2S, that would be for a total of two sulfur atoms. So if you have 2, O4, that would be a total of 8 oxygen atoms. So you just need to multiply the coefficient with the subscript to give you the total number of atoms present on that chemical formula. Now, in reading chemical equation, each side of an equation represents a combination of chemicals. Now, a combination is written as a set of chemical formulas and is separated by a plus symbol. For example, we had their CH4, which is methane, plus two molecules of oxygen will give you one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. So, the two over here is our coefficient, and that gives you an idea on how many molecules of that chemical, chemical is present on the equation. So, the two sides of the equation are separated by an arrow. The combination of chemicals before the reaction are on the left side of the arrow and which is known as the reactant and the right side indicates the combination of chemicals after the reaction which is known as the product so for example we have sodium and oxygen which yield or produces sodium sodium oxide so in this case, sodium and oxygen are the reactant, and they react together to make a single molecule known as NH2O, or sodium oxide. 
So in all chemical equations, the reactants turns into product and we have an arrow between the two as shown here. So the one on your left is known as the reactant and the one on your right is known as the product or the products. Now, since you already have an understanding of my discussion for today, let's try these examples. Now, can you identify um, the missing element or compound on the blank? You can pause the video for a while and answer it on a separate sheet on your end. So, that would be magnesium plus blank will give you magnesium oxide. So, that would be oxygen. Precisely, how about blank plus iodine will give you hydrogen blank. So, you can just put hydrogen plus iodine will give you hydrogen iodide. How about the other one? That could be iron plus oxygen will give you iron oxide. And if you're going to combine carbon oxide plus carbon, that would be copper plus carbon dioxide. Great job. How about you draw a line between the molecules and its name? So which among these molecules on your left can match the one that you have on your right? So chlorine or Cl2 is this one. Great. If your answer for hydrogen chloride, HCl, is this, then you're right. For CH4, that means there are four hydrogen and one carbon, this molecule suited that chemical formula. And carbon dioxide is this one. There are two molecules of oxygen and one, mole and one atom of carbon. Great. And that will be all for today. Great job and congratulations for reaching this far. So for the references that I've made for this lesson, you can read in Advanced Cambridge Chemistry 3rd Edition or go to the website ck12.org under Physical Science for Middle School. Now, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you find this video use useful. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to connect with us, you can go to www.pocketpulse.org or visit us at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Since you are already here, you might as well subscribe to our channel. Click the subscribe button below. And if you have questions or inquiries regarding our organization, you can give us a message through line or give us a call at 0814170978. That will be all for today, and I'll see you on the next episode of my screencast for chemistry. Goodbye, everyone!